Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, you know, a, a good portion of emotional wellness surrounds what goes on in your mind or what, what comes into your mind. What are you listening to? Who are you listening to? What type of information are you absorbing? So a lot of people don't understand the, the power of the, the subconscious mind and how difficult it is to get something out of your subconscious mind once it's there. Once it's there, it's like, um, it's, 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 it's tough because it's ingrained in you and it, and it's, it's how you just operate, operate naturally. It's like a song you might remember from your childhood that if you heard just the beat, you would know all the lyrics to it because it's embedded in your subconscious mind. You've heard it so many times. It has become a part of your makeup. Therefore, it's always important to make sure you are putting things into your subconscious mind that are beneficial. And the way it gets in there is through consistent repetition in your conscious mind. So it's a, it's a two-way tunnel, right? It comes into your uh, conscious. And then the more you hear it, the more you interact with it the more it becomes a part of who you are <clears throat> and then goes down to into your subconscious mind. So um, I, I always encourage people to incorporate some sort of positive affirmations, some sort of inspirational videos, inspirational songs. Keep that going. Memorize if you're if you're into spiritual uh, Bible or whatever you um, will you follow read verses um, and memorize them, right? So so when those times come up, it'll be something that you can just naturally rely on to get you through troubling times. Um, because the opposite also holds true. If you're going through some negativity and you only hear negative things, it's going to continue to keep you in that negative state, right? So uh, work on just reading positive stuff, work on listening, do it consistently um, until you get to a point where you're starting to replace some of that negative thinking, some of that mental anguish you may be dealing with. That's one way to help you get more emotionally stable. And as you're getting more emotionally stable, you're becoming well, right? So we're really, we, I'm giving you tools to help you get rid of any negativity that you may have uh, and start to focus more on some of those positive things. All right. Um, yeah. So, so, so let me know what you think. Just try it out. It's, it's depending on how long you've had some things going on in your subconscious mind like lodged there, it's going to take a while to get out. So don't think this is going to happen overnight, but continue to walk in what I just told you, um, surround yourself with positive people as well. That'll help, uh, reinforce the message. All right, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.